morning. I'm Alexis Zach. I'm the city treasurer for the city of Linden and the chief financial officer. And I'm here celebrating Women's History Month. And I chose Georgia Niece Clark as the woman to honor during this month. Georgia Niece Clark was the first woman treasurer of the United States, serving from 1949 to 1953 under Pre President Harry Truman. She was also from the Democratic Party, and she lived to the age of 97. Here in Linden, we have a strong value of serving, and as a female, we have a very strong council president, Michelle Yamakaitis, who is a trendsetter and the first council president of, of Linden. And we also, I was honored enough to know Louise Hasbrook, who had been the first female treasurer in the city of Linden. So I celebrate Women's History Month. And again, Georgia Niece Clark was the first female treasurer of the United States, serving from 1949 to 1953. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michelle Yamakaitis. I'm the council president from the city of Linden. I'm here celebrating Women's History Month at the Art House. The person I'm presenting is Ellen Schwallow Richards, who was born in Massachusetts, and she was the first woman to attend MIT. She obtained a bachelor's degree within three years and obtained her second bachelor's within four years. Ellen continued at uh, MIT, and they refused to give her a PhD, which she did earn. In those days, women were not allowed to even, she was the first woman to ever attend MIT, and they would not allow her to obtain the degree of PhD. She specialized in chemical engineering, and she actually uh, set the standards for the sanitary sewer systems that we know today. Very involved with the Board of Health. When she took a position as a professor at MIT, it, she did it for no salary. So as you can see, she set the standards for women in the educational and chemistry industry today. So again, this is Ellen Schwallow Richards. Good morning, everybody. This is Mayor Derek Armstead here at the Linden Art House. Uh, today we are celebrating Women's History Month, and the uh, person I've chosen is Catherine, Catherine Graham, uh, and I'm sure there are thousands of other women who have um, contributed to our country. Um, but I chose Catherine Graham. Um, she is the uh, first female Fortune 500 CEO, and um, you know, and I chose her because um, I think that my grandmother, Jimmy Lee Armstead, was a, a CEO uh, in her own right uh, uh, down on Southwood Avenue, uh, and she actually put us on the map. Uh, she put the Armstead family on the map, and that's not to say that my grandfather wasn't a hard worker. He worked very hard, but she managed the money, okay, and she uh, was very instrumental in, the, in, the, in our purchasing of property on Southwood Avenue, and uh, with all those children, she had 12 children, and she still was able to, they were able to raise a family, buy property, uh, and uh, garner the respect of uh, the, the folks here in Linden. And I won't hesitate in saying that she really put the Armstead family on the map. A great woman uh, at a time when it was very difficult to be successful in our country. Uh, she did an outstanding job raising children and being active in our community. God bless you, Jimmy Lee Armstead, and God bless our family for all you've done for us. God bless the city for having a person like you uh, come here. Okay. Good afternoon. My name is Councilwoman Lisa Ormond. I'm from the First Ward in Linden. And for Women's History Month, I'd like to speak a little bit about Melinda Gates. Melinda Gates is an American philanthropist. She is the wife of Bill Gates. She's a former manager also at Microsoft. In 2000, she and her husband founded the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Her major and her primary philosophy is that she seeks to unlock the possibility inside every individual. She believes that there's equal value in all lives. One of the reasons why I respect her is because I have children who have disabilities. And I too believe that every life, every child, every person has their own unique value and can contribute to society. I just wish all would feel that way. And once again, I truly respect her motto. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kira Ann Ormond, and I'm the daughter of Councilwoman Lisa Ormond, and I'm going to be sharing with you for Women's History Month, Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo de Rivera was a Mexican artist who painted many portraits, self-portraits, and works inspired by the nature of artifacts of Mexico. Inspired by the country's popular 
culture she cultural she employed a naive folk folk art style to explore questions and identify post post colonialism gender her class and race in Mexican society he she also remembered for herself portraits pain and passion and bold vibrant colors she is celebrated in Mexico for her for her for her paintings well this kind of gives me feedback about her and I like how she gives art because I love art as well and art is actually one of my types and I love drawings and paintings because I learned about them in history in sixth grade and my teacher taught me about different art artists like Pablo Picasso, Leonardo da Vinci, and Vincent van Gogh. And this shows me how much I can learn about art because drawing was one of my favorite things to do when I was little and I still like it today and it even gives me pleasure to say that I love drawings. And so thank you for your time and convenience and I appreciate you and, and thank you for your support. Hi, my name is June Lazaro. As a businesswoman and a community member, I think it is so, so important for us to recognize the women who have impacted so many lives throughout history. The one that I selected today is Mary Barra. She is a CEO of General Motors. She's, as a woman, to be a CEO of a major automaker company, that's huge. The impact that she has done throughout the years is to me unmeasurable. I selected her because my husband retired from General Motors here in Linden. Yes, I miss the plant, but I will always have the memories throughout the years. We actually started, you know, General Motors did a 50 years event, and I participated in that, and I go back and I watch history. It's emotional, it's an impact that will last forever. So thank you, Mary Barra for being the CEO of General Motors. Hi, I'm Cynthia Johnson, owner of Savannah Southern Bell Restaurant, located here in the city of Linden. Also a councilwoman in the borough of Roselle, New Jersey. Member of the SID committee here also in Linden, New Jersey. Wilma Randolph was born June 23rd in Brentwood, Tennessee. Wilma made history in 1960 in the Summer Olympic Games. Upon her uphill battles when she was born or diagnosed with polio at the age of four, she did not let that stop her from accomplishing all of her dreams. She was born into a family of 11 siblings from her prior father. Her dad remarried and it became six more. Wilma did not let the odds beat her. Five years of training in physical therapy with her legs, which she did, one day walked into her doctor's office with braces on her legs and took the braces off and said to the doctor, I will run and I will walk. Today, we make history as I honor and celebrate Wilmer for her encouragement because you are a phenomenal woman here, Women's History Month. Despite of all, she went to play basketball and became also a leading woman in our basketball history. Thank you and congratulations to all as we celebrate our Women's History Month here in the city of Linden. Thank you very much. I'm Giovanna Callen, a Linden resident, and here is Amina Turner. And today we'll be talking about Joelle Prestige. She is an African-American political science citizen, activist, educator, and author. She is the first African-American woman to complete a doctorate in political science, one of the youngest holders of the degree in the nation. She also helped found the Louisiana Center to assist black educated officials and served as director. President Jimmy Carter appointed her to serve on the National Advisory Council on Women's Educational Programs for the U.S. and that is why she's an important woman in history. Hi, I'm Michelle Yamakaitis. I'm the council president from the city of Linden. 
I'm here at the Art House for Women's History Month, and I was asked to do a presentation on Haiti Carraway. Haiti Carraway was a representative from Arkansas. At her beginning life, she was a teacher and educator, as well as a homemaker. She really had no interest in politics. Her husband was elected as a senator in 1931, and he died while in office. In those days, it was precedence that a widow would take the seat of their husband if they should pass away in office. Hattie had no interest in doing this. She took no part in the women's suffrage movement. Uh, she saw voting as a, another chore for her. But getting involved, taking her husband's seat, she realized that she could be a voice for a lot of underrepresented women. So she was the first woman to fulfill a full term as a senator from Arkansas. So Hattie Carraway was a ceiling breaker for many women in our country. And we're here this month celebrating Women's History Month, and we sal salute Hattie Carraway as one of the great women in America today. Okay. Hi, my name is Doris Johnson Brown. I'm a resident of the city of Linden, and I'm also a school board member of the Linden Board of Education. We're here celebrating Women's History Month, and I'm here uh, speaking about Frances Perkins. Miss Perkins, she was an American socialist and um, a workers' rights activist. She served as Secretary of Labor from 1933 to 1945. She was the first woman appointed to the U.S. Cabinet, and she helped pull the labor movement into the New Deal Coalition. I'm going to read from my phone a little bit um, some of her achievements. One of the things she did was she worked with the National Industry Recovery and she also worked up under the Social Security Act where she helped establish unemployment benefits and many Americans today know how important unemployment benefits are um, to them. Um, she also worked with uh, redeveloping the, the pension system and she uncovered uh, things for our elderly Americans and welfare for the poorest um, Americans. Um, under the New Deal, she worked with um, the Civilian Conservation Corps and she also worked with the Public Works Administration. So I would like to say again that Miss Frances Perkins, she was our um, American socialist and workers' rights activist. And thank you for all your work and help me celebrate Miss Frances Perkins um, during uh, Women's History Month. Um, I'm Tyler Farrar, I'm a high school junior, and today I'm at the Art House celebrating Women's History Month. And I'm here to teach you about Helen Madrill White. She was born on November 28, 1863, and she died in October 28, 1944. She was an American academic and instructor. She is also most famous for being the first woman to earn a PhD in, in the United States. She also taught at many prestigious universities and she has many degrees from them also. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm a junior at Linden High School. Um, for Women's History Month, I chose Adina T. Friedman. She was born in 1969 and she's an American businesswoman. She's the president and first CEO of NASDAQ, and as of 2017, she was listed as the most powerful woman in the world of Forbes. Thank you. Hi, my name is Doris Johnson Brown. I'm a Linden resident and a current board member of the Linden Board of Education. I'm here at the Art House celebrating Women's uh, History Month, and I chose Ann E. Dunwoody. Um, she is the first. Uh, woman to be um, achieved the uh, rank of four-star general. She served in our United States Army from 1975 to 2012. She um, also um, was promoted to lieutenant general three-star in 2005 for prior to receiving her rank of uh, four-star general. She became um, a voice for um, decreasing sexual assault violence in the United States Army. And she was quoted to say that she wanted to make a difference in the lives of the military 
um, the women in the military um, by helping assist with um, decreasing the sexual assault violence. Um, she was the first woman to command a battalion in the 82nd Airborne uh, Division and uh, she retired in um, after 37 years of service in August of 2012. So I chose her because I'm in law enforcement and I admire women who serve our country and who also serve in our military. And Anne E. Dunwoody, thank you for your service and happy Women's Month to all. Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a junior at Linden High School. Um, today I'm going to be talking about Carly Fiorina. Um, she's an American businesswoman and political figure. She is known as the CEO of Hewlett Packard and she became the AT&T's first female officer as senior vice president in 1990. Thank you. Uh, hello, I'm Tyler Farrar. I'm a high school junior over at Linder High School and today I'm here to teach you about Stacey Cunningham. She's a banker with a degree from Lehigh University and she's actually known to be the first female president of the New York Stock Exchange. And as of 20, November 2018, she was listed as one of BBC's 100 top women. Thank you.